Good evening. Welcome, Atsushi. Welcome, Usami san. I'll have the pesto pasta set, please. My name is Atsushi Usami. I'm a 27 year old office worker. I've been in a relationship with Rina for three years, and for the past two years, Rina and her best friend Kanae have been co managing a Western style restaurant together. You two are always so close. Of course, we've been best friends since we were 18. Rina and Kane met at a culinary arts college they both attended after graduating from high school. And they've been working hard together ever since with the shared dream of one day opening their own restaurant. She's lucky to have such a good friend to encourage her. My girlfriend Rina is a great cook, and I often come to the restaurant to eat. But even on my days off, Rina cooks for me. The restaurant is doing well as usual. Thankfully, I'm busy every day and it's fulfilling. Here you go. Looks delicious. Eat the Dakimas! The restaurant is starting to settle down, so I want to get married soon. Once we're married, I'll make lunch boxes every day and make dinner in advance for you. Yeah, I want to get married with you soon, too. Yeah. Well, since we've already met our parents and they've given their approval, why don't we start living together? That way I can make more meals for you. I'd like to do that if that's okay with you. Since Rena finishes work late, I'll do the cleaning and laundry. Yeah, but you're busy too, so I'll do as much as I can. <sighs> she really is a good girl. The first time I met Rena was at a Western style restaurant where she worked before opening her own restaurant. I was a customer there, and I confessed my feelings to her. She told me that she was really happy because she had never had a relationship with a man before. It's strange that a wonderful woman like Rena has never had a boyfriend before. And then, on our next day off, we went to a real estate agency to look for a place to live together. But... Hey, Atsushi, it's been a while. Oh, Ogori. Been a while. I met a childhood acquaintance who I hated. Oh, is that your girlfriend? She's cute. Nice to meet you. Rena, Ogori and I went to the same junior high school, and our families lived close by. Oh, you went to different high schools. I went to a private high school that was geared towards university entrance exams. And he went to a regular public high school. Well, we were different from childhood. Uh... What do you do, Rina? Oh, I run a western-style restaurant at Sekai Station. Huh, it's amazing that you have your own restaurant. No. He's annoying, but Agori has a good face. He's tall, he's smart, and he's good at sports. Apart from his personality, he's generally good, and I admit that. But he looks down on people, so I've always hated him. Natsushi, are you still working at that small company you joined straight out of university? Yeah, that's right. You really don't have any ambition, do you? I was promoted to section chief last month. Well, see you later. He didn't have to say that in front of Rina. He really is a jerk. I know he works at a top company, but still. Well, let's go to the real estate agency. It's time for our appointment. Yeah, was that person the same age as you? Being the section chief is amazing. That's right. Ogori works for a big company, too. He's always been really smart. I see. You could also have a look around here. I'll think about it some more. Why don't we just take a look? The sunlight and stuff. No, that's enough for today. Thinking back, Rena's been acting strangely since that day. I'd noticed it, but I've only had a vague idea of the reason for it. Rena, do you want to go and check out a different place this Saturday? I'm busy on Saturday, so let's do it another time. Okay. Does she think I'm pathetic for letting Ogori make fun of me like that? 
In the end, Rita didn't talk much about moving in together, and after about a month of not making any plans to meet, I was called out to a nearby cafe one weekend. I'm sorry, but I want to break up. Why all of a sudden after three years together? You were the first boyfriend I've ever had, so I thought I'd probably end up marrying you, but I wanted to see more options. Is that why? Then someone else appeared who said they liked me. Sorry to keep you waiting, Rina. Why is so gory? Uh... Well, the other day I happened to be at Sakai Station and thought I'd go and have a meal. And it was Rina's restaurant. After that, we started to see each other more and more. So that's why she didn't see me for the past month. They're already so close. I was having more fun with Takashi. I'm sorry, Atsushi. I've only ever been with you before, so... Well then, Atsushi. I'm sorry, but we've already made plans to go to a dinner at a hotel with Rina. It was much more painful than being made fun of by Algori, because it was as if Rina realized that I was a worthless guy because she had never dated anyone else before. I was left alone in the cafe, unable to say anything to the two of them as they left. I just sat there in a daze for a while. And I should tell Rina the truth. Even though it's ended like this, she's someone I've liked for three years. That night, I tried calling Rena, but she had blocked my number, so I couldn't get in touch with her by phone or message. Should I just leave her alone? But Rena's been a really good girl for the past three years, and she's made me lots of food. Actually, Ogori is an elite who's smart and good-looking, but he got into debt while at university because he got addicted to pachinko and gambling. On top of that, he lives with his parents, who are at their wit's end. I know about this because we're neighbors and our families are close. And on top of that, he's a cheater, and I don't think he's serious about going out with Rena. And the following Tuesday, I dropped by Rena's restaurant during the slow period, just before closing time. There was still one other customer at the restaurant, so I ordered my food as usual. I'll have the hamburger steak set, please. Yes. Rena didn't even acknowledge me. She looked annoyed. Kane-san looked confused when she saw this, and I finished eating in an awkward atmosphere. Rena, I want to talk to you for a minute. I called out to Rena when I saw the last customer had finished paying and left the restaurant. What? I don't want you to come to the restaurant anymore. I don't plan to start over with you. Uh, I have no intention of starting over with you either. I just think that you should stop seeing Ogori because he's not the kind of person you think he is. That's all I wanted to tell you. What is that? Did you come to talk down on Takashi because you got dumped? That's so pathetic of you. At the time, you were my first boyfriend, so I didn't know, but... No! Ogori is... Anyways, even if you do something so miserable like that, I'll just keep hating you more and more, so please don't come back. Raina didn't listen to a word I said, and Kane-san, who was listening to our conversation, kept her head down the whole time. Okay, I won't say anything else. Please take care of the bell. Y yes Um, did you break up with Rina? What, you haven't heard anything from Rina? No, there was a guy who came into the restaurant a lot recently, and I thought she was getting along well with him. Yeah, I'm sad to think that I won't be able to eat the food here anymore, but please take care. Good luck with the restaurant. I'll oh, forget about Rina. We made many memories during the three years together. Now, I've decided to throw away the miscellaneous goods and dishes that Rena left behind and start afresh. Usami, you got a great number of contracts this month. Thank you. I'll do my best next month, too. It's like you're running our sales department all by yourself. That's ridiculous. Eight months have passed since then, and I was gradually forgetting about Rena. But one day, I received a call from the landline at the restaurant where Rena worked. Rena? What could she possibly want now? 
yes. Oh, Usami-san, I'm sorry to call you out of the blue. Hanae-san, what can I do for you? Actually, the restaurant that Rina and I co-owned is closing today, so I just wanted to let you know. What? Did something happen? Um, I've reached my limit with all the things I've had to put up with. I see. What are you going to do, Kanae-san? I'm planning to open a new restaurant in a different location, and preparations are already underwear with the opening schedule for the beginning of next month. Please come and eat again when you feel like it. I asked Kanae-san about the location of her new restaurant and hug up the phone. My mother called me shortly after that. I heard you and Rina broke up, but is it true that she's going to marry Takashi Ogori? I see, they're getting married already. Rina wanted to get married quickly after all. Did you tell Rina about Takashi? And I wanted to tell her, but she wouldn't listen. Oh dear, well, you've been through a lot. I won't ask. After they get married, it seems like you're planning to live together at his parents' house, and Oguri-san's wife was holding her head in her hands. Yeah. And that day, I went to see Kane-san's new restaurant to congratulate her. But it seems I got the opening day wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought it was today. It's tomorrow. Please, sit down. I can at least offer you a drink. Would you like some coffee? I'm really sorry. For some reason, Rina barged into the shop and shouted as I sat down. Kanae, what do you mean, a lawyer? I got this letter. Of course, I've known for a long time that you've been setting your own salary high in order to pay off your own debt since we started the business. But, um, but I've been putting up with it for a long time, thinking that you'd wake up one day, but I've reached my limit. Please pay back the money I lent you soon. What? I've been putting up with it because I thought you were my best friend, but you never woke up after all, Rena. You said you'd pay it back every month, but you never did. I, I will. It seems that the reason why the two of them stopped working together was because Rina was so loose with money. Uh, Atsushi, how did you end up at Kanai's restaurant? I heard that she was opening a new restaurant, so I came to congratulate her. But I made a mistake and came a day too early. You're just as bad too, Atsushi. Why didn't you tell me? I thought he would be loyal because he works for a top company and has high-ranking positions, and he was so passionate about his and he was so passionate about his approach to me. I didn't know he gambled and cheated on me all the time after we got married, and that we'd have to move back in with his parents. Rina started saying ridiculous things to me. No, I told you, but you didn't listen. Besides, you can't say anything about Ogori either. I knew that Ogori was in debt, but I didn't know you were too, since you never told me about it when we were together. That's, and Takashi came to me because he thought I had money because I run a restaurant. That's enough. You got what you deserve. Besides, Usami-san was trying to tell you. You're going to pay me back all the money you owe me. Rina left the restaurant in a huff after being shouted at by the kind Kanae-san. I didn't know. I thought that owning a restaurant would be profitable because she had so many brand name items, but... She wasn't like this before we. She wasn't like this before we opened the restaurant. I think she got a bit carried away once we opened the restaurant together. Um, I came here by mistake today, but I'll come back tomorrow to eat. I'm sorry for all the trouble. No, I was also wondering whether I should consult with you, but I wanted to believe that Rena would recover. Then she betrayed you and started going out with that man. So. I still go to Kane-san's restaurant about twice a week. Maybe it's because of Kane-san's personality, but the restaurant started doing well right away. And there are two female employees, so it always seems busy when I visit. Welcome, Usami-san. I would like the beef stew. By the way, you have a driver's license, right? Yes, I do. I have a favor to ask you. Yes, what is it? Do you want to go somewhere by car? Yes, I want to go shopping for tableware. Can you take me? Sure. According to my mother, Ogori's parents finally lost their patience and kicked them out of the house. And after finding out Rina was pregnant, they can't break up with each other. I was shocked when Rina broke up with me. 
But maybe this was better than getting married without knowing anything about her. I was very surprised to learn that someone like Rina was so loose with money. But even so, the food that Kanai san makes looks really delicious. What kind of food do you order when you go to a western style restaurant? I'd like to try beef stew. How did you guys enjoy today's story? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.